Hello boys and girls, welcome to Arts and Crafts. I'm so glad you've joined me today. We're gonna to be making piggy banks out of nut cans. You can use any generic nut can. Make sure you rinse it out because it could be a little salty inside and sometimes they end up rusting in, in the inside if you don't get the salt out. And, uh, but be careful just in case it's a little sharp. This one's not, but just be careful in case it is. Maybe have mom help you uh, select your can. And once you've got your nut can, you'll need a big piece of paper. I like to use the uh, larger construction paper and you'll cut a strip to fit around your can. You'll also need some tape and some markers and scissors. So let's get started. I like to start out by taking the lid off of the can so that I can measure the width of the paper I'm gonna be using. You just go ahead and wrap the paper around it, and I actually take my fingernail, you can take a pencil, something just to kind of mark where the bottom edge of the can is, going from one little uh, metal rim to the other. Because you want the paper to fit right in that space between the metal rims. So I kind of mark it, you could mark it with a pencil or a, uh, um, little crayon or something. Sometimes I just use my fingernail to make a little marking. And then you're gonna cut that into a strip. I'm gonna cut that strip all the way down so that it will wrap all the way around the can and fit in between the metal rims. You don't need the whole length of it, so you can cut off some of it. And eventually you're gonna tape it to the can and then put another piece of tape at the outside to hold it. But before we do any taping, I'm gonna take the paper back off and decorate it. I made one already to look like an orange grove. You could do whatever you'd like. Rainbows, stars, you could, um, Maybe do a racetrack with cars or an ocean with boats. Anything you want. I think I might do a little water scene this time. I'm going to do some waves with my blue marker and do some ocean life. Maybe some seagulls and fish. There are my waves. That's easy to make, and you could use two different colors. I might use some light blue in between. Kind of looks like some sunlight on the top. I put a little lighter color blue on top to look like the sun is hitting the water. So maybe I'll make some fish swimming. And some seagulls up above. Got some fish here. How about maybe a little gray fish? And let's see, maybe put some little seagulls in the air. You could do a sunshine. There are my fish and seagulls could put a golden sun up above or some clouds. There's the sunshine coming down. Could put a sailboat. Maybe I'll do a little red sailboat. There we go. So now once I've finished coloring, I'm going to wrap it around my nut can and I'm going to put a piece of tape on the end, the very beginning of the paper, to hold it on just like that and then I'm going to wrap it around and put another piece of tape on the other end of the paper so that it will stay on. There's my design. Now for the lid, to be able to get the coins in, you have to have a little slit there. You may want mom or dad to help you with this because scissors can be sharp and can cut you, but 
I'm going to just make a little slit with my scissors. See there? And now I'm going to cut it about the size, I'd say a little over an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. That way all your different coins can fit in there. You could even fold up a dollar bill and put it in. And so now that I've cut it with my scissors, I'm just going to pull that out. I need to trim it a little bit better. Didn't get it all the way cut. Snip that just a tad. And that way it will come out. It'll loosen up and come right out. And then when you put it on your can, you can fit your coins, dollar bills. If you fold them up, it should all slide in there and you can save your money. You can save money for all kinds of things. Um, I've got several books here to show you. One is a book about wildlife habitats. You may want to buy some bird seed if you make a bird feeder. This book has all kinds of ideas on making not only bird feeders, but squirrel feeders, bird baths, all kinds of things to help wildlife in their habitat. To attract them to your window so that you can watch the pretty birds, and also to help them survive in the winter, or if there's not enough water, if it's a drought time of the year, you can make a bird bath to um, give the birds a place to swim and to drink. Here's a squirrel feeder with corn cobs on it. There are all kinds of games in here and fun ideas that pertain to nature. So check out Wildlife Habitats. It says easy, kids easy to create wildlife habitats for small spaces in city, suburbs, and countryside by Emily Stetson. This is a great book and we'll have it at the Temple Terrace Library. There's also the Anti-Boredom Book, 133 Completely Unboring Things to Do. This book is also filled with great ideas. It's got puzzles, games, crafts, experiments, magic tricks, recipes to cook, a lot of ideas, fun things to do on the weekends or if you're not in school yet, fun things that you can do to keep busy around the house. And here's Amelia Bedelia chalks one up this is where she does some great creative chalk drawings at her house. This is written by Herman Parrish. I hope you'll come to the library and check out some great books. And maybe you'll even make a nut can bank. Thanks for joining me today for Arts and Crafts. Bye-bye.